Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Kristen, also known as Lovely Kristen. I'm a first year teacher. I teach kindergarten. So guys, today's video is going to be a day in the life of a teacher. It's not a school day. It is Saturday. And your girl is getting ready to head to her school because I have a lot to do. I have so much to get done that is absolutely ridiculous. But I'm about to get it done because I have no choice, guys. The transition from para to teacher has been real. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys all about that. It's been real. But I think I've been doing a good job. I am only going to grow and get better. Um, I'm about to make myself some coffee before I leave because I definitely need some. But I'm not just making any coffee. I am making myself some Javi coffee. I'm about to make some Javi coffee and show you guys how I make it. It's so good. So give me just a second and I'm going to show you exactly how I make my Javi coffee. is so good definitely make sure you get you some i'm about to head to my school i will see you guys when i get there So I went by Walmart first to pick up a couple of things. Wasn't able to find everything that I was looking for, but I did finally find a fish bowl. Um, I'm just going to use this for my Lucky Ducks. So really happy finally got those um, put in. And then let's see what goes. About to hang up their first day of kindergarten coloring sheets outside in the hallway. So I'm about to do that real quick and then organize some more paperwork that I have because I just have to get organized like it's ridiculous at this point. So I just added their first day of kindergarten coloring sheets and about me sheet that a couple of them do really well. And then a couple of write my name sheets. So I also wipe this down that I'm going to use for their extra pair of clothes. So I've just been putting like a handful in each one for the ones that already brought in their extra pair of clothes in case there are any accidents. Took my daily schedule and wrote it up here. Um, so from 7.30 to 7.45 is stem bands or morning tubs, morning work anything like that. Phonics and reading from 7.45 to 9.15, so our literacy block. Recess, 9.15 to 9.45. Our writing block, 9.50 to 10.30. Lunch, 10.37 to 11.07. Math, 11.15 to 12.45. Science and social studies, 12.45 to 1, so it'll be one or the other. Fun centers, 1 to 1.30. And then snacks, pack up and dismissal, 1.30 to 2 o'clock. So that is that. What else did I do? Oh, all of their headphones. I am using this cart for all of their headphones for right now. I went to Walmart to see if I could find a shoe organizer because that's what one of my team teachers is using for her headphones. But I couldn't find one that had big enough pockets that would actually fit the headphones. So I just decided to do this 
instead. And so I know that I have six tables, but um, there are two tables in each one. So these are like my first two tables, second two tables, and then my last two tables. And not everybody had their headphones in, but I think this is going to be okay for now. My mom was saying I could hang all of their headphones on these hooks alongside the whiteboard, but I really, I don't know, I don't like that. I really don't want anything on the hooks. So yeah, that's just kind of like where I am right now. There's so much organizing to do. I can't wait to show you guys a tour of my room. It's just kind of a lot of stuff everywhere right now because I'm just trying to get everything organized. Um, I need to figure out the cubby situation because it's not really working out because um, the cubbies that I have, there are only 18 of them. And so I had to end up using the thing that I was gonna use for their lunchbox, the shelf, the little small shelf that I was gonna use for their lunchbox before I realized that so many of them bring lunchboxes and that was just not big enough. So let me kind of show you guys the situation that's going on right now. So this is the situation. Originally, we were gonna use this for lunch boxes, but so many of my kids bring lunch boxes, guys. I'm thinking like maybe a few may bring lunch boxes a day or something like that. No, like sometimes it's like half my class. Um, so it's not really, I mean, it's been working out okay. However, I need one more spot. Um, so, I don't know how to make this work unless I just use a tray for the last spot that I need. Um, or they could just sit it on top. The kid could just sit it the lunchbox and worry about it on top. But then I kind of feel bad because I'm like, you know, everybody else has a designated like space. But anyways, um, I don't know what to do about this situation because I'm not loving it because it's just not, you know, I would just rather have a big enough shelf for um with cubbies for all of them um which i'm thankful for this shelf that one of my um co-workers gave me but it only has 18 and i need 23. so that's kind of the situation right now so yeah it's just a lot to kind of figure out it is a lot to figure out and i've been kind of stressed because i need to start focusing on lesson planning and so I'm going to come up here, I think, tomorrow as well. And just today is kind of focused on um, organizing, figuring out how I kind of want things. And then um, tomorrow will be dedicated to get my lesson plans together for the week. And then also um, figuring out how I'm going to do centers. So the first two, so I told you guys that... Um, we're about to start our third week of school. The first two weeks, my principal was like, you don't have to do any lesson plans, just focus on routines and rituals, things like that, and getting to know your students, which I really, really appreciate it. Um, but it was kind of hard because although she said that, you know, there's a lot of beginning of the year assessments that you have to do as well. And so that was just kind of a lot um, for a first year teacher, like realizing like, oh my goodness, this is a lot of assessments that we have to do. Um, it's just so many. So I had to do the start early literacy, start math. Um, I'm going to have to do the iReady diagnostic. Um, I don't know if I have to do both iReady and iExcel, um, but I know I'm going to have to do iReady. We also have to do the star CBM. Um, and then also it's just testing the kids on their like letter sounds, their let, so their letters, letter sounds, shapes, numbers. So it's also doing those assessments as well. And so it's just, it's a lot in the beginning. It's just so much. And I've heard teachers say that, but I'm just like, okay, well, how much, you know, is it really? And it's a lot. And so I've just been kind of stressed out with that. And then, um, what else, what else? There was something else I wanted to tell you guys. I forgot. So yeah, just a lot of beginning of the year testing, but I didn't have to do lesson plans. But starting um, next week, I'm going to have to start uploading my lesson plans every Monday to our Google Drive that all the teachers upload lesson plans to. And so yeah, tomorrow I just want to sit down and focus on like what I'm going to be doing for each subject, planning centers, all that good stuff. Um, while like today, I'm just going to be focusing on like organizing 
and stuff like that. It's, it's a lot, guys. It is a lot, for sure. Um, yeah, I wanted to sit down and kind of talk to you guys about, like, the first week, um, the first day in particular, and then, like, meet the teacher and stuff like that. I'll probably talk to you guys about that at the end of this vlog. I just need to focus on finishing up so I can get out of here because I'm not trying to spend my entire Saturday here. I want to be able to relax and enjoy a little bit of my weekend as well. So anyways, um, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So I've just been kind of getting our stem bins ready for in the morning. I have to print the cards that go to these um, for the popsicle sticks. I have those pattern blocks. I print these really simple ones, but the um, more we do them, the harder the task will be. Um, what else? Still have for my Play-Doh. So I have their names for um, you know in the morning time if we want to do like if I want to have them do their names, but then for like. Our centers, our reading centers, um, I have like the letters of the alphabet. And so whatever letters we're working on, that'll be probably one of my centers and we'll use the Play-Doh. So I just kind of have some stuff like organized. Oh, I'm forever running into stuff. So this is kind of like what it's looking like now. I still have a lot more like organizing to do. I have this for my small group area. This will be my whiteboard that I write on. Um, comes with all of these, but I don't need all of these at one time. So, so yeah, it's, there's has been a lot of changes. Yeah, there, there has been a lot of changes in my room as far as like how I kind of want things. And you guys will see um, whenever I do the tour but i'm about to probably get ready to get out of here because i've been here for a while it's time to go printed their list one to send home monday so yeah i've gotten a lot done but it's time to go mm -hmm.